Hello everybody and welcome back to TOS Today. Well I wanted to take a quick look at Zorin 4 Ultimate Edition. I had done a previous screencast review of Zorin 4. If you are looking for a more detailed review of Zorin, please take a look at that previous video. But for this, I will take a quick look at Zorin 4 Ultimate Edition. Now I will have to take just a quick look because this this particular edition is jacked up, meaning that it is loaded is over 3 gigabyte download so make sure you have a pretty fast connection and of course a DVD drive okay what I did here was to install it made a few modifications I changed the look from the default Zorin Windows 7 style desktop look to the genome look and I changed the default wallpaper what I'll do is run through the application software installed pretty quickly and then at the end I want to highlight one very very cool feature exclusive to Zorin Ultimate all right, this is the start button here. We'll go look at applications. Now, those of you who are familiar with Genome and Ubuntu have seen this before, but I'll just go through here real quick. You have Activity Journal, journal Calculator, Character Map, Cover Glubus, Disk Usage, Docky, which is cool, Print Jobs, Quick Synergy, which I am not familiar with, Search for Files, Take Screenshot, Terminal, Text, Editor, Tomboy, Notes, and X Journal games this is where the ultimate kicks in this thing is loaded with games if I highlight arcade you can see here you have airstrike extreme tux racer frets on fire frozen bubble never ball which looks kind of cool never putt next who is super tux warmux solitaire armageddon now, I'm not familiar with some of these oops what happened here I must have clicked that by mistake. All right, let's get out of this. This is Armageddon. Yeah, that's a little blooper, but I'll leave that in there. <laughs> okay, games. Getron, Battle for Wesnoth, Battle for Wesnoth map, Billiards, Brutal Chess. Brutal Chess, as opposed, as opposed to Civil Chess? <laughs> I don't know. Flight Gear, G Brainy, Mahjong, Mines, Pingus, Quadrapassel, Secret Mario Chronicle Sudoku Super Tux Kart Trigger Ultra Star and X Moto, which I believe okay, it's a motocross game. All right, graphics blender, which looks cool, but I have no idea how to use it. Diagram editor, the GIMP, of course, Inkscape, Open Office, Scribus, Shotwell, and Simple Scan. Internet, Google. I have installed Google by default down here. We have Give Revolution Mail, Empathy. G. Weber, Social Client, Internet Browser Manager. This allows you to choose between different browsers. Let me just type in a quick password here. And you have a choice of Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera, and Midori. Let me get out of that. Where were we? Okay, we were with Internet. Okay, we'll finish that up. Go to Office, and you have your various applications here. The ubiquitous open Office, Sound and Video. This is another loaded ultimate list of various sound and video applications. And you see here, it's pretty extensive. Uh, I'll just highlight a few things that I like to use. VLC Media Player, Transmageddon, Rhythmbox, OpenShot, Caden Live, Kazam, Screencaster, oh, DVD Creator, so on and so forth. Let's go to System Tools. Ubuntu Tweak is installed by default, which is great. Universal Access and Wine. Wine is a program that allows you to play and or install install and play some Windows applications in Linux places. I'm sure you have seen this before. The standard home folder, desktop, documents, music, so on and so forth. System preferences, administration, of course the shortcuts on top, Google, Nautilus File Manager, Rhythmbox, is the default player for Zorin. I'll have to take a look at Banshee sometime in the future. It's been a while since I uh, played with that, but this is Rhythmbox here. And of course Ubuntu One Music Store is installed, which is nice. Let me get out of that. And of course the uh, shortcuts on top, the power, chat accounts, the clock, mail, volume, the battery, and so on and so forth. Okay, let me close this by showing a couple of things uh, under System Preferences. Uh, one is the Look Changer. This allows you to change your desktop 
to look like either Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 2000. So if, if you are a Windows lover and you wanted to try something that's not too scary that looks like Windows, definitely check out Zorin OS 4 Ultimate Edition. You also have the choice of making it look like Mac OX or Genome, which I have now. But let me end this, let me um, finish this up with something new, which I have never seen before, which I think looks terrific. I'm going to scroll down here to Background Plus. I'm going to click Start Background Plus. Now I think this looks cool. This is an exclusive feature to Zorin 4 Ultimate Edition, the Background Plus. This is not a screensaver. This is now my normal background wallpaper slash wallpaper if you want to call it that in Zorin Ultimate Edition. I think it looks great. Well that's it. That's all I needed to say for Zorin for Ultimate Edition. Obviously there is a, a lot much more to say to look at this but I quite frankly don't have two hours to spend on an OS although it would probably be worth it. Well that's it guys. Thank you for watching Total OS today and as always I'll catch you someplace among the stars.